Hello and welcome to Genetically Modified Dragons YouTube channel. My name is Keith. And today I'm going to be tackling a problem that a lot of people with dubia colonies have, which is gnats or fruit flies, whatever you want to call them. Um, little bitty flies is in your colony. I have a colony in a, a, a bin identical to this one, but it has a um, bigger mesh. So what I'm going to do is repair this one with a smaller mesh and then go outside and sort that colony and um, take out all the dubia and replace them to this one so I can clean that colony out. And I also have another little secret that you can do um, to help with gnats if you have a gnat problem. Um, the first step is always gonna be to clean out the bin, which I'm gonna show you that. But there's something you can do just in case you have any egg cases that go in when you, egg cases go in your um, clean tub when you finish it. Um, so right now I'm going to start by um, putting this smaller smaller mesh that the nets can get through on here on the holes on the vent holes and I'm just going to hot glue it on there uh, I did a video on this before on different types of bins but it's pretty much the same process um, I'm going to just tack Tack the mesh down on four points on different sides of the mesh so that I can be sure to seal the whole thing down so no roaches or anything can get out or in. Just like that. Okay, you can take this time to subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I'd like to welcome you to the channel as well. If you're already subscribed, make sure your notifications are turned on. I'll be posting videos at 6 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time daily. So make sure you have your notifications turned on and um, tune in for those times. At, at first, I was um, just doing videos at any time. But I'm going to try to be consistent and do it at 6 o'clock every day. So, yeah, subscribe if you're not subscribed already. If you have any questions, don't be scared to comment down below the question. I'm pretty good on answering um, all questions um, if, I, if I'm able to see it. If I don't see it on here, you can contact me on Instagram or Facebook, both Genetically Modified Dragons. So contact me on those social media sites if you want to see more pictures of um, animals that I have. Instagram will be the best place. I also post on Facebook as well on my business page. So... Make sure you're following those uh, social media sites. And, and if you're new to the channel, uh, thank you for subscribing and welcome. And that's what you're going to end up with. If you wanted to, if you wanted like perfect, you can go with a razor and cut off that excess. So you have a cleaner look, but it really, it really doesn't matter. You just don't want any dubia to be able to get behind it. Or any nets to get in from this place. So we're gonna go outside and deal with that colony. I'm gonna take these fresh air crates. You can have to replace the air crates because it's gonna be air cases on there. So let's go. Okay, this is the cop the um bin I just repaired with the smaller mesh. And below it is the older bin. And I already set it up with the egg crate. I'm gonna put the food bowl here. I like to put the food bowl on the side with the vents so that it's, it does get humid in here, but the humidity can escape through here. Okay. And this is the old colony. You're gonna be able to see the nets in here. And when you see these, see those gnats, you want to get them out as soon as possible, or clean the colony as soon as possible to stop them from infesting too much. I 
I don't want to separate the smalls or anything from this colony. I just want to um, clean it out. Look, there's a whole lot of them. I don't want to separate the smalls from this colony. I just want to um, clean the colony out and let the colony continue to grow and try to get rid of these gnats. Uh, this is going to be the first pro first step. And then uh, I have a little trick that I um, I do in, in addition to cleaning the colony. So what I'm going to do now is cover this one up so they don't go in here and hide while I dump these doobie out. And I'm doing it outside so that the nets don't, nets or fruit flies don't uh, try to take over the house as well. And if you can see, this mesh is a lot bigger, a lot bigger in size than that one is. They can go through there with no problem. So I'm gonna move this clean colony, or a clean setup, away from, away from the dirty ones so they don't go inside of there. And I got this extra tub so that I can Take these egg crate out and dump the contents out into here and hopefully most of the gnats fly out while I'm doing this. At this time I'm just knocking off all the dubia from the old egg crates into the um, empty bin. As you can see it's a lot of frass falling in here with the dubia. Um, inside of that frass, sometimes you're gonna have egg casings from the um, from the gnats or fruit flies. I'm not sure what type of flies they are. I just know there's small fly, flies inside of the colony that I don't want inside of there. It's gonna be egg casings from those flies. Um, so I'm gonna tell you how to a way to get the dubia off of the um, frass and get them separated. So stay tuned for the rest of the video so I can show you how to um, take care of that problem as well. Okay, here's a um, fruit fly right here. So I'm just smack going along and smashing any that I see. And I'm also looking for any egg casings that may be in here. I'm gonna smash those as well so that they don't hatch or that I don't transfer them. You, you can see it, this one right here is like jumping around the bottom. They're not always flying. They like seem like they like to crawl more than fly. Uh, but I'm just looking around for any egg casings, any. Uh, fly so I can smash them because I do not want them to get back into my colony. They have big pests and sometimes um, you can have like maggots if it's very bad. You have very small maggots inside of your collection. See this is the egg case right here. I just smashed it. But yeah. Stay tuned so I can show you how to uh, get rid of the most of the frass it's a, to make it easier on yourself. There's a lot of ways you can do it, but I found this way to be easy. Um, but I'm going to show you here in a second. I found it to be three main reasons for gnats to get into your dubia colony. Uh, number one being... Um, a, like a massive die off like a lot of your colony has died off um, second being overfeeding and third uh, being too much moisture inside of the colony if you can control those three things most likely you won't ever have a net problem um, what I did was over overfed which led to too much moisture in the colony
All right, once you get all the egg crates out and you dump everything over here, this is what you're gonna be left with inside the bin. So what I like to do is for the big adults, I take those out by hand. Mediums too. Once you get most of the um, bigger ones out, what I like to do is put a fresh egg crate in here. Like that. And then agitate the, agitate the bin. Now that's one. That's gonna make them panic and find somewhere to hide. And they're gonna try to hide inside the egg crate. And then they're gonna be sticking on the bottom. Then you do the same thing, just dump them off into here. Okay, so you're gonna let those sit in there for, for a while. You can go do something else, go feed to animals or something. Let it sit and then when you come back, you should have some something like that on the bottom. You just do the usual and knock them off. And you can do that a few times. Stops you from having to pick so many with your hands. So I'm going to do it one more time. And that's going to agitate what's ever in there. And they can go up and try to find somewhere to hide, like I said before. And what I like to do is come over here. And I'm going to look through here and see if I see any gnats. And if I see any gnats, I'm going to smash them. After going through and finding the gnats and the egg casings and smashing them, um, it's gonna be the process of separating the frass just in case I missed any of the um, egg casings during this process. And now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna see, I didn't see any gnats. So I'm gonna put egg crates in here as well. And do the same thing. This way I can separate the dubia from most of the frass. Because the frass is going to sometimes have um, the egg cases from the gnats. So if you separate as much frass as you can, you have less chance of reinfecting the dubia colony with the gnats or fruit flies. I'm not sure what they are. They're just little flies. So let that sit there for a little while, then I'm gonna pick it up. And then just put it in an empty container. I'm gonna dump those off in a second, but while I'm doing that, I'm gonna rotate and do another one in there. the same process and then while those are loading up I'm gonna knock these off into here and, uh, then I'm gonna rotate it
what you're going to end up with after doing that process is a colony that's fresh and um, nat free. So, you still have a couple more over here that can be picked up. But I'm probably just going to get the, the bigger ones out of here and uh, freeze the frass, even with the smalls in it, because it's not worth it going through to get all those. And I'm going to get the bigger ones out of here as well, and then freeze the frass. I'll just put it in the bin, put it in the freezer. And then that'll be it. So I'm going to go ahead and put these in a new clean colony. And let them continue to breathe. I'll give them some food. There you go, clean colony. Like I said, I gotta put the food in there. Put some food in there. Okay, now for the trick that I told you guys about, um, that I was gonna show you. Um, I don't have a proper size bottle. I would like a Gatorade bottle, but the, the mini, the mini kind. That way it can fit in the um, tub with no problem. I won't be able to do it today completely, but I'm still going to walk through the process with you guys. Um, so you see, this is not enough clearance for me. So I would like the smaller one. It'll be about this high compared to this one. But I'm still, like I said, I'm going to go through the same process so you guys can know what to do. Okay, so what you're going to need is a Gatorade bottle or any type of bottle, but you're going to want it to be a, a lower profile, like a shorter bottle. You're going to need some vinegar, prefer, for preferably apple cider vinegar, and then you're going to need um, dishwashing liquid. So what you're going to do is fill the bottle up about a quarter of the way. You're also going to need a drill as well. And then you're going to add some dishwashing liquid to it. There's no particular measurement, probably like a teaspoon, tablespoon. You're going to mix it up to a soapy. And then you're going to add a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. And again, I'm not measuring right now. I'm just showing you guys the steps. And uh, that, the apple cider vinegar is going to be like an attractant. So if you say you got a few gnats in your colony already, and you don't, and you just say you just. That you, um, you had, you, you, you could, you do, you, you want, you, you could do so, you, 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 you could. Did a clean out, but you don't want to do a full clean out again. What you can do is just flip it. But you're going to want that shorter bottle for placement because it's going to take up a lot of space if you use a bottle this size. You you would rather have the smaller one um, just for uh, space. But you're going to do the same steps. Put some dishwashing liquid in it with about a quarter of the way filled up with water. Um, shake the dishwasher li liquid up into a soapy. Add some apple cider vinegar, even though this is white vinegar. Put apple cider vinegar that's going to be like an attractant to them and then what you with the drill coming handy for is the lid and i should have did the lid first so it won't be so many particles inside of this water and you're gonna, and you're gonna use a drill bit similar to that and drill a hole right in the top
once you drill that hole a bigger hole would be better but this will work as well but once you drill a hole take that off and you're gonna need a piece of mesh I like to use wire mesh and stuff that inside of here that way no baby doobia can get in but the gnats can and you just screw it on And you set that inside of your colony and the gnats can go in there and once they touch the water they're going to be attracted by the smell of the vinegar once they touch the water they're not going to be able to get out because the dishwashing liquid is going to keep them from being able to climb or fly be sure to place this somewhere in the colony that um, it won't spill uh, thank you guys for watching the video this is going to be the end of it um, subscribe if you're not subscribed hit that like button comment down below and appreciate every single one of you have a good one